So iOS 15.7.4 is here and this device that you are seeing here is the iPhone 6s. This was released in September 2015 so it's been over seven and a half years ago and it's something that's impressive to see an old device like this getting software updates. Now I'm um, updated my device here but before I did that you can see I did a recording and update size on my iPhone 6s updating from iOS 15.7.3 came in at exactly 209.3 megabytes now I should highlight that compared to iOS 15.7.3 this update was smaller by a large margin because iOS 15.7.3 came in at 719 megabytes but this one was just 209.3 megabytes now this update here supports quite a number of old devices so the iphone 6s that you see here is supported and so is the iphone se first gen that you see here this is supported as well you also have the iphone 6s plus the iphone 7 and 7 plus the ipad air 2 and the ipad mini fourth gen as well as the ipod seventh gen those devices are supported you can see this guy i recently just updated to ios 15.7.4 but for now we will focus on this success for now and see how it's performing overly as a device that's been updated now let's talk about the software changes that are here with this update so we'll go into settings and we'll go to general and we'll go to where it says about you can see there that i'm on ios 15.7.4 and if you click there you see the build number that we have with this new update it's 19h321 so that has been updated from the previous one and just to show you here the modern firmware version that i have here is 9.61.00 so this remains unchanged from ios 15.7.3 so most likely if you had issues with wi-fi or airdrop or bluetooth or anything related to wireless services it means that it remains unchanged most likely with this update but you are always welcome to test and see for yourself but let's talk about what's new with this update so the first thing that i have to mention and highlight for you here is that if you go into the app store there's a new application that has been introduced by apple and if you search for apple musical classical you'll be able to see that now this is available to download you can see it there and it's made by apple it became available just yesterday and you can see it's already risen to the chart to number one in the music chart and so this application offers services that are specialized for classical music and one does need a subscription in order to be able to get it so it's something that i thought i should highlight but when it comes to this update itself I do have quite a number of good news or good updates to give you as it fixes a lot of bugs and issues and one security issue that has been exploited by hackers. So the first fix that it fixes here has to do with camera. So there was a patch when it comes to the camera access because some applications had unauthorized access to the camera. So that has been a fixed with this update. Also, if you use the shortcut app on iOS 15.7.3 or 0.4, before there was an extra permission that has was needed in order to make this application more secure. So that layer has been added and application and shortcuts that you download from the app, from the web or from other services will need an extra permission in order for them to have access to your shortcuts. And some shortcuts do give access to your device. So this will make it more secure. Now, when it comes to WebKit, that has to do with web services and Safari and so on. I'll be happy to let you know that this device fixes a number of issues that have to do with browsing and Safari that have been somewhat exploited. So if you do want the safest and the most stable update that has the latest security features, this fixes that and if you're a person that use an old device especially when you are browsing the internet and you always want to be safe this is the update for you as it proves on some of the vulnerabilities that were actually exploited in ios 
15.7.3 if you have a vpn profile this device removes some network issues or weaknesses that could result in vpn spoofing if that is something that you were using so that means that hackers could create a fake profile in order to try and intercept user data and traffic such as information like your banking or your credit card or login credentials so that has been fixed with this update also i'll be happy to let you know that the canal which is the core operating systems has improved the memory management and apps that we having somewhat of an unauthorized access it's most most of the time it has to do with third-party applications so if you do have a lot of third-party applications that are installed on your device then i'll be happy to let you know that memory management for apps and unauthorized access has been patched with this update so you can see that it's more of a bug fix and security update in fact if we go to the apple security page here you'll be able to see that we have this ios 15.7.4 that patches a lot of issues and if we click on it we'll be able to see what are some of those so we just refresh this page so that we are current and you see ios 15.7.4 and ipad os 15.7.4 so you see some of them have to do with the calendar the camera like i mentioned some with cam center others with find my and uh, others with identity services image io and so on there's quite a few but i did try to highlight the major ones for you so that you know whether you want to update to this device or whether you want to hold off a little bit and see how it turns out to be for most users a lot of people when there's a new update like this they tend to hold off for like a week so that they get the idea of how you know what's new with this update or is it introducing some bugs or some new issues so if you are one that uses an old device most of the time on a daily basis you bank on it you use it to log into so many services i would advise you update to it for the security uh, reasons that it provides but if you want to hold back and see how stable it's going to be and also because we need some more time to be able to test the battery and see how it is performing with this update then you are also welcome to do that but those are the main changes that are here with ios 15.7.4 i did run geekbench score just to see how this is performing and you can see for gpu i got a score of 2861 and i also did do some cpu geekbench scores i believe i took a screenshot of that since it didn't really save here so you'll be able to see my uh, score here i got a single core score of 640 and a multi score of 1020 pretty low but it's better to have a steady device that's um that is safer instead of having one that's fast and vulnerable which this device patches most of the security features or security vulnerabilities that were there so that's about it for me stay safe and i'll see you in the next video peace